Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't done a video like this in a while, so I thought I would uh, take this opportunity to talk about something that I mentioned in a uh, video, a couple of videos back in the description if you read that. Um, talking about tuning and uh, why I think tuning by feel is better than tuning by black box. Now, I'm gonna clarify this to say you will get the best uh, best flying as far as actual by the number performance when you know what you're doing if you tune by black box but you may not get the best overall flying experience and best performing as far as the overall flight doing that so let me kind of if I can explain this. So by the numbers, a quad will have um, very specific um, characteristics where you can get it to the bleeding edge of where when you tell it to do something, it does exactly what you're telling it to do. And you may think, okay, that's the best flying quad. And in the purest sense of the word, that would be true. But from a person who's flying more of a freestyle organic type of flying, that's not necessarily true because you may want the quad to have a little bit of a looser feel. Um, you may not want it to be, you know, stuck right on the line. If you're racing, you probably want it to be stuck right on the line. You want it to be, I, I want you to go here, I want you to do this particular move, you know, um, I don't want you to deviate at all. You know, in that sense, you probably want to use black box to get your quad dialed in as tight to you know the the tolerances of, of your flight line as you possibly can whereas with freestyle a lot of times you want a little bit of uh, you want a little bit of a give and take you don't necessarily want it to be you know um, robotic if you will you know you want to have that organic feel you want and it's just a little more fluid, a little more natural um, feel. So that's kind of what I mean with this. Um, and I, I don't think you can get that with black box because you're just looking at the numbers. You're not looking at you know the feel. And you might go out and fly it and get a feel and go, okay, yeah, I can go a little more. I want a little tighter, or whatever you know. But I think just flying it by feel, you're going to do it because everybody's style is different. Um, for instance, you can take a quad that has, you know, um, reasonably well specced um, everything. You know, it's got the right motors with the right props for the right weight that it is, so that, you know, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. Um, and you can take a quad that's kind of in that range. You know, there's 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 some give and take there, and you can take a lot of different PIDs. You know from the defaults to you know really terrible ones um, and you can fly around all of the idiosyncrasies of how it flies and you can learn how it flies just like a car for instance you learn how a car handles you know not every car handles the same but you can drive any given car reasonably well once you learn the characteristics of it take a camera for instance you can take reasonably well photos with a really poor camera as far as specifications go um, and get excellent photos when you know what you're doing. Same thing with the quad with tuning and stuff. You can you can take a quad that isn't tuned well and it can fly well because you know how to fly it. So there's a whole lot that goes into tuning more than just by the numbers, you know, this is what the numbers say it should be. Well, maybe, but someone flying it you know, who has a particular style, those numbers actually might be worse than, you know, um, someone who has a different style. For instance, those those moves that they like to do, you know, well, there's no bounce back. Is there really no bounce back? Did you really stop that stick dead? Or did you let it ease into it just ever so slightly even, you know, or even a lot, you know, and that affects the tune you know, and the numbers and, and what everything shows. So you know, there's there's a, a lot of gray area. So there's nothing wrong with tuning by black box and there's nothing wrong with tuning by feel. I just think that by feel, 
it works better because you are flying it and you know what feels right and it seems to be working well and if it's working well you don't need to mess with it you know if it's fitting your style there you go take cricket for instance when he got started he never tuned I don't think he still I don't think he tunes I think he just put whatever the defaults were and that's what he flies you know there's a, another guy I saw in his description uh, McFlight you know beta flight defaults all day every day you know or something like something to that effect in his description you know and you know his flying looks really nice um, so either those are like those values are just perfect for his quad or he's learned to adjust to those more likely he's learned to adjust to all the little idiosyncrasies and kind of learn how to fly it and how to you know feather things and do all that kind of stuff to work around prop wash or you know um, turbulent air or just you know slight oscillations or um, slight overshoots or all those all those sorts of things anyways I just want to put that out there I'm going to do some flying at the field I thought I was going to do just some flying with the light poles because there was some kids over at the playground but they're not there now so I think I'm gonna go over there and fly that anyways that's all for this video and I'll probably put out a flight edit from some of this stuff and we'll see how that goes anyways you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video peace